guys so we're into the video and this is the context matte lipstick and the name of the lipstick is tears are falling 116 so this is the little packaging that it comes in like that we're gonna open it up okay it's a little cute little packaging context it says right here also um, it's a little what what is black black kind of color I'm gonna open this up and I don't smell anything yet so it's like one of those twist up kind of um, lipsticks I don't know if you guys can see that get into that color it has like that pointed kind of um, shape to it I guess it could get into the lips a little better this looks like a to me this looks kind of reddish nudish I don't know we go, I'm gonna put it on my lips and um see what it's like but for me I'm gonna line my lips I always line my lips before I put on any lipstick or anything so I'm gonna go in with the tenacious brown by Jordana lip liner pencil and I'm gonna line my lips and I'm gonna go in with this color I guess we're gonna get into I'm gonna apply it see what it comes out as uh, this looks like a it looks reddish too I'm gonna go in and blend it up because it looks crazy that's nice though I don't know it almost looks red to me too but not like, you know, like one of those vibrant kind of reds, like. Yeah, I, I definitely need a lip liner for this because this is going to look crazy without a lip liner. Mm. It's kind of nice. This color kind of reminds me more so of like the other colors that I normally wear anyway because I'm more so into like, not nude lipsticks, but like, like neutral, like neutral colors, like. This is very neutral to me. Um, as far as application, the application is very good. It gets into like, I guess, let's say if I want to get into the corners and stuff, I could go into the corner. But I don't want to take away my lip liner. But if you're someone that doesn't do the lip liners, you can easily like maneuver it very well into the corners like that. See? Yeah, I don't like it without the lip liner. It's okay. It's okay, but I like lip liner. So the, the application is very smooth. Now they do say that this lipstick is a matte lipstick, but it's not like those type of matte lipsticks that are like drying to the lips and you see like every crevice in your lip or whatever. It's very, it's very, very smoothing for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's, it gives like a lot of moisture. All right, you know what I should have done? I should have swatched it on my hand to show you guys. So I'm gonna, do like a close-up maybe that would help to show it like as the color by itself so I'm gonna swatch it here on the back of my hand all right it's dry all right guys so I'm gonna co go in and just so you guys can get a sense of what the color is looking like all right I mean, it probably shows a little different because my, my hands are a little lighter than my face. But um, this is the color, um, just to give you an idea of how it looks by itself, I guess. All right, so that's the color that it's showing. It does come up kind of like, it looks kind of reddish. Yeah, it does look kind of reddish. But I guess when I put it with my lip liner, it's kind of like um, maybe toning it down a bit. But I'm not gonna wear this by itself without a lip liner because I just I just don't like it like that. I don't like wearing my lipsticks without my liner. I'm gonna go in over it again. It doesn't have to be much, but I still like to go in a little bit. Also, guys, the the lipstick is like very like creamy, like also like I guess as far as application, you would say. Let me. I can't explain like yeah it just glides like that's the way that I mean in like it being smooth 
it, it glides very well on the lip. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kiss the back of my hand and see like if it um transfers, that's the word, if it transfers. So let's see, so. That look is huge. So look, so it does transfer a bit. Well, not a bit, somewhat. But it's still on my lips as you can see. It is on my hand, but it is still on my lips as well. Everything is still pretty much intact on my lips. For this Contact Skin Matte Lipstick, it has antioxidants and botanical oils that provide nutrients that condition and protect skin from free radical damage. Okay, so that's probably why it's giving like that moisturizing kind of smooth effect when applying it to the lips. Lips are left supple and moisturized with a velvety matte finish. See, it does, it does moisturize the lips and leave them like, that's what it is, supple. But it's very, very, very moisturizing for, for a matte lipstick, which I do like because I don't like matte lipsticks that, that much. But I wanted to kind of like, you know, try something different. But this is a really great matte lipstick. This creamy formula glides on and pampers your lips with intense hydration. Provides a full coverage, rich demi matte look without dryness. And that's the main thing that I love about this lipstick. It doesn't dry your lips out, it moisturizes your lips, especially for a matte lipstick. Most of those matte lipsticks, like a lot of them just, I don't know, they just make your lips look like dry and like the lip needs moisture. Like that's what it makes your lips look like. So we're gonna get into the price. So this lipstick is $20. I will find the link and I will leave it down below for you guys to purchase. If you guys like this review of this lipstick by Contacts in the color Tears Are Falling, please like this video, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment and let me know if you have the lipstick, if you like it, how you like it on your lips, if you feel that it's um, smoothing enough, moisturizing enough. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss another video.